Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Govern from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 130, show how the answer is calculated. All right, so today's question sent in from Alyssa. Alyssa at YouTube, how can I return the cells composing a formula? So we have just a simple formula, b2 is equal to a2 plus a3, uh, 3, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, but over in c2, she wants to display that the 5 and the 3 are the source. That's interesting. All right, so I think what we'll do, we'll say uh, equal uh, b2 is, in quotes, ampersand uh, a2, and then ampersand, I'll probably do space plus uh, space, ampersand, and then uh, come over and point to P3. So B2 is 5 plus 3, and then if we change these numbers, 6 and 2, it will document what is going on. Uh, you know, my first thought was formula text in uh, Excel 2013, but that's going to show just uh, A2 plus A3. It's not going to show the values. I also thought of doing something here um, with the N function plus, you know, the N of something. Uh, I used that trick recently for a client where we were getting a circular reference. So in the macro, we had to calculate an answer, change it to values, and then continue. Uh, but when I changed the values, I had the macro document inside the n function, uh, something like this plus n. This was 5 plus 3. Of course, that was a macro kind of uh, thing. But we could go back later and see you know, what had been added. Uh, so we never ran into the circular reference. But I think here, this one is pretty straightforward, just uh, using the ampersand to concatenate uh, the values should uh, be good enough to document uh, what we have. All right, Mike, let's send it over to you. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, uh, I can't quite beat that method. In fact, you know, when I'm doing concatenating, I tend to use the ampersand, the join symbol. I suppose we could however, use the concatenate function, which is the same thing. The ampersand is just how to manually concatenate, which means to join separate things into one. I'm going to use the concatenate function, but check this out. I could just type it out here, argument, argument, argument. But if we go to the function argument dialog box, we don't have to put in those double quotes. Now, I'm going to click on uh, this right here. And this gives me to help. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I meant to go Shift F3. That opens up the uh, function argument dialog box. By the way, escape oops, equals con. This right here is the hot link to get to help. Shift F3 is the keyboard for insert function. And if you already have the function typed out, it'll jump right to the, the uh, function argument dialog box. So the first thing is uh, B2 and then space is space. Now, what's so cool about the dialog box is I don't have to put in those double quotes, right? And notice that it actually does. So it will put those quotes in for us. So it's kind of convenient. And then I think we had 5 tab. And I'm going to do space plus space tab. And notice, whoa, look at that. It puts the space, the double quotes in for you. And then uh, that right there. Now, again. I basically never use this dialog box. I you do what Mr. Excel does and type it out, but that's pretty convenient, especially knowing that it'll put in the double quotes for you and you can put a space. So I click OK. B2, whoops, F2. Now I'm going to come back and edit it by putting a plus here. All right, and I guess we could do uh, one step further. Let's see, Shift F3. I could come here, uh, Tab, and then type space equals space tab. And then how about um, SUM open parentheses? Or no, not SUM, just this cell plus symbol this cell. So I put a formula there too. And so now we can see the result there. So now it says B2 is 5 plus 3 equals 8. Wow, that's pretty well. Now we could take this uh, one step for further. Uh, if we moved this down here, it would still say B2 even though it's not B2. So we could actually, since the information about what cell this is has come from that cell, we could use the address function. There's actually a few functions that you can get uh, um, 
a few functions like cell is another one. But this is the one I usually use. It wants row number, column number. So I'm going to put row of, and click on that cell, comma, column of this cell. So right now we have the row number and the column number coming from these other functions. And then comma, this, which in the old days you had to go to help to figure out 1, 2, 3, 4, meant. But this drop down, I love it, it tells you what kind of cell reference to display. For example, if you use the cell function, it automatically shows absolute. So I like the address function because it gives me that 4 option for relative. So now I could take that and no way copy escape and I could come right here and instead of um, actually I'm going to have to go up to the dialog box or how do I do this um, uh, instead of this B2 all right so there is currently text one so I'm going to type a comma and then uh, right now in text one control V oh that didn't work I'll temporarily uh, control enter see if I can copy this here escape and then right right there in text run I'll control V and so now I'll move this down here Bloop. now if I change this move it down here it'll say B6 or wherever it is B6 is 5 plus 3 equals 8 all right throw it back to Mr. Excel Hey, all right, Mike. Well, this was an interesting podcast. It was a really simple question, and we kept going on and on and on with other ways to do it. Uh, equal C-O-N tab. You press Shift F3 here. I do Control A to open that dialog box. Control A, once you have the open parenthesis there, will uh, get you to the same dialog box. I liked your uh, trick there with address. Uh, very, very cool. And hey, this was the uh, first uh, Doing Excel podcast now in 4.7 months that we have not used an array formula. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. Hey, Control Shift Enter. Mastering Excel Array Form is actually with a brand new title or subtitle uh, that uh, we'll be shipping to the printer today. So, uh, three weeks, we'll have that book. Woohoo! See you next week.